through the triad right now. You take a look at the skies over Yakimville from earlier today. Definitely an active afternoon. A lot of ominous clouds, a lot of low hanging clouds with just rain sort of hanging down and that moisture hanging low from those clouds. And occasionally, yes, we had reports of funnel clouds and even some pictures of them from the storms that rolled through Surrey and Stokes County. Some very brief spin ups from a main mesocyclone rotating cloud that was moving through. Right now, that severe thunderstorm warning in Guilford County has been allowed to expire. You can see the storms there pushing through. Still a little bit of lightning, some heavy rain, especially in the northwestern part of Guilford County up toward the lakes. That will continue to move to the east. You've got some rain north of Burlington, rain around Reedsville and south and west from High Point all the way back toward, uh, down, I should say, along 40 and 85. You're going to see some rain there just south of Moxville. This was a viewer photo of that wide base of the cloud that was rotating for a while earlier today between 5 and 7. This one toward the Shoals community in uh, Surrey County. You can see that tighter rotation there, a funnel cloud. A lot of folks getting pictures of this as well. Asylum Road towards Pilot Mountain. And then you can see this one, uh, Tom Jones Moser Road there from Alex Burton. And that is what happens when a storm is trying to put a tornado down to the ground. Oftentimes you see these funnels sort of dipping out and that's pretty typical for the setup today along that cold front. And then you just have these lower clouds that look scary, but nothing funnel like or tornadic from these in Boonville. And this is a much prettier picture, isn't it? From Crystal Collis. Thanks for sending this photo into us near the Chestnut Grove area, seeing that rainbow. And several of you actually seeing a rainbow tonight. Over the last five hours, six hours, you can see the storms as they pushed through along that front. And then we've talked about this at the top of the newscast. You can actually follow that rotation as it made its way over parts of Surrey and Stokes County, and we had actually some wind damage reports, a few trees down here and there in some communities. We are under a marginal risk, at least in the southeastern part of the triad over the next couple of hours, meaning we could still get an isolated severe storm. Main threats would be wind damage or some hail with these and a very low tornado risk. And you see that marginal risk category down towards Charlotte and Raleigh. There's our front pushing in right now behind it. Some significantly cooler air and some drier air, less humid air as we move through this week. Most of the stormy weather today has been to our east and to our south. Overnight, I think there's very little chance for really seeing any storms, but we may have at least a few showers kind of carrying us into the morning. You can see some spotty showers around 6, 7 a.m. Our temperatures are in the low to mid 60s right now. We're going to be a lot cooler tomorrow morning. Mid 50s in the mountains, upper 50s across the tri with a few patchy showers to start the day. This is around that 5 a.m. hour. We may get a little batch pushing through the tri at around 8, 9 a.m. Then things should clear out and dry out. And we've got some cooler highs that are closer to 70 degrees tomorrow afternoon. Definitely less humid. And the wind is picking up out of the west at about 10 to 20 miles an hour. Windy as well in the foothills. High temperature about 72. Mountain forecast, you're up to 64 for tomorrow afternoon. Also a breezy day. So Monday should be dry after the morning. Look at Tuesday where we take the temperatures down into the 40s across the region. And then by Tuesday afternoon, maybe not even making it out of the 60s. So some definitely cooler air that is in the picture for us. So take a look at the seven day forecast. Not only is it cooler, but we've got sunshine in it. We've got temperatures in the upper 60s Tuesday, 70s on Wednesday, and then look at the heat wave by Saturday and Sunday. We're into the mid 80s. By the way, I didn't get a chance to take that happy Mother's Day off on Monday, but I plan on celebrating tomorrow. How about that?